Tuesday, you're watching Tasty Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. Vlogmas. Hey, Joe. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas. Okay, bye. Why are you so cute? Why you gotta be so cute? It's not fair. Sick moves, bro. Hi, good morning. Happy Vlogmas. 7.30. I'm getting in the habit of vlogging right away. Are you digging saying this face first thing in the morning? Or are you digging it? Actually, you're probably not saying it first thing in the morning. You're probably saying it late at night because I'm very behind when I edit. So, I got my coffee. I just wanted to talk about a couple things because I feel like it might help people that might be going through the same thing. So, I just um, got off birth control for the first time in... 15 years yeah i didn't know that you were supposed to take breaks because they don't tell you nobody tells you the shit to figure out life like as it happens so um yeah i've been on the pill since i was 16 i'm 24 i'm off the pill and not because i want to get pregnant yet guys i love all of your pregnancy conspiracy theories i am not against getting pregnant i would love to get pregnant within like the next year or so um, but not right now particularly. There's a couple things I want to get done before getting knocked up. If it happens before I want it to, then that's fine, but I'm aiming for like end of next year. It's a surprise. Spoilers, but I did just get off birth control because I was reading a lot of horrible stories about how birth control like does crazy things to your body and like you should get off it every couple of years. Didn't know that. Also, Steve and I have, this might be TMI. If you have younger viewers in the room, maybe skip ahead up past this part. Steve and I have never used protection. So going from never using protection to having to use protection is like, it's not fun. Neither of us like it. I wanted to share with you this app that I've been using. I'm not testifying to whether it's good or not because I've only been using it for two weeks now and but i'm really curious to see maybe if someone out there has been using it or if you like it um if it's been accurate for you because it's a way to measure your ovulation cycle so that you know like when it's okay to not use protection basically all i want to do is take some raw dick okay so i just like to be real with you we don't like condoms we don't we don't like them hey if you're having sex right now definitely wear a condom if you're not on birth control but also, fuck condoms, man, they suck. Here's this app, it's called Natural Cycles, not sponsored. I heard about this from a friend. So this is today, and it says use protection. So we're probably just not gonna have sex. What you do is before you wake up out of bed, you take your temperature with this basal thermometer. It's different than a fever thermometer because it goes two digits. So it gives you much more accurate temperature measurement. And you input your temperature. After a few cycles, it can tell exactly when your ovulation is. So that instead of all those red days, you get a lot more green days. The green days mean you can f without a condom. I've been on it for two weeks, I think now, and it's been red every single day, like telling me to use protection. But apparently after a while, it learns your cycle and you get more green days. I just wanted to share that with you in case you didn't know you're supposed to take a break from birth control, like I didn't know. And also, if any of you are using this app, let me know if how it goes. Like, is it good for you? Like, I'm really curious to know if you've been able to accurately predict your ovulation cycle and you know take that raw dick without a condom now i got my coffee and today i'm reading a book i've been reading this book the magic of thinking big also not sponsored also i understand that it's very cheesy it's a it's an old book it's i think it's written in the 1960s or something how to earn more lead fearlessly and live a happier life very, very old marketing. But everything still applies and it's a really good book. Anyway, this is long. I'm gonna read my book now. But I just wanna let you know about those things. Vlogmas. We didn't have anything to eat for breakfast in our house. So we really need to go to the grocery store. But I, I found this. Some gluten-free pumpkin pancakes from Trader Joe's. I think I've had this in my cabinet for like two or three months now and we have not tried it yet. So I thought I'd try it, you know? Use things that are in that pantry. So I made mine with a flax egg and some earth balance. Um, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but let's just, ooh, oh, oh, okay. Is that too much? Is that too much? That looks too much. First pancake is never a winner. Looking totally good. Mm. Looking better, looking better. The whole house is filled with smoke. I don't know if you could tell, but 
It's looking better. Okay, so now I remember why I don't make pancakes. Because they're a pain in the fucking ass. Pancakes. Made a couple mistakes and I think I learned from them. I learned a lot today. Right, Franklin? We learned a lot. We've been looking at the smoke go out the window with the fan. First mistake, my batter was too thin. Second mistake, I used olive oil instead of something with a lower smoke point like grapeseed oil. Thirdly, I think the heat was on too high for this type of pan, so I turned it down to almost low. And then, you know, by the last pancake, it started to turn out a little bit better, but I learned a little too late. This will not save me from doing pancakes in the future, but it will definitely postpone them into a much later date. Anyway, yay, pancakes are done. Fourth mistake, I have this much syrup left. Vlog move. That's what he does. She is a mess, man. She <laughs> makes messes, dude. It is like house hunters. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I would think if the oh, guy did so that, yeah. if the guy did that, I would be like, that's so fucking planned. <laughs> <laughs> so true. But it wasn't. <laughs> oh, she is sloppy with all food. She's sloppy with the drink, and she is yeah. just sloppy with the general. Sloppy in general in life. All right. Well, let's not be sloppy with the house. It's a good line too hey, for a segue. Should, there you go. Well, let's not be sloppy with the house, huh? Wow, this is like pre-written. <laughs> We're on our way right now to go look at some houses, which I'm really excited about. We actually found this realtor through the open houses that we were looking at through realtor.com earlier before we went to Bali. Unfortunately, the places that we looked at last time where we like really liked one of the places, um, it's all, it's they got taken. booked up? It's they gone, got, yeah, booked? it's gone. Booked for the summer? Yeah. The summer season? That was a good place too, that Burbank place. It was great. But good news is we got pre-approved on a loan, so if we see another good place, we can put an offer in if we like that? it. Hey, how about that? If we like it, we are not going to settle. We are going to find right. a place that we like. That's right. Even if it takes us longer. Hey, that's like each other. Oh, yeah. Because we did not settle. We it's found true. each other and we waited. Neither of us wanted to date anybody. Right. When we were single, we're like, never mind. We're not. We're like, I'm chill. We're chill, yeah. And then we started dating. And that was cute. It was the best, and I was man. like, the best this is everything I've been looking for. Aw, oh, you don't care. Two bedroom, two bathroom. Two bathroom. Cool. It's uh, 579,000. 1,320 square feet, it's been listed for like two days. This is Raphael, he's our realtor. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet everybody. This is all I want. I know that. <laughs> I just want an outdoor area. Oh, I know that. Do you know that? I know that. It's I'm all you talk sure about. You it. It's I'm all you talk about. I'm like, we just we should just add a balcony to our apartment. <laughs> <laughs> we have those windows. Which we could. Yeah. Look at that shower. You would like that. Yeah, okay, girl. This is a fake fireplace. No, fake no. news. <laughs> but it's very cozy, so we like it. He's very blind, so like yeah, not cool. Yeah, I just don't see well. We're on to our next place right now, but what did you think about that place? That place is awesome. I it really... Was, it was a little bit small on the smaller side. Yes. But, and that and that's my only complaint. And it's at the top of our budget, like very top of yeah, our budget. Yeah, it's at the top of our budget. So it's so small. So it wouldn't have a lot of room for renovations. <laughs> They always say that shit on I the know, show. I, I know. It. it does sound like we just it sounds like scripted that, right? it. I love it. I love <laughs> or it. that we've watched so much House Hunters yeah, that, that we're just like mimicking what they say. I, I like the high ceilings. I liked that it was turnkey. I, when I heard you say that, I almost <laughs> orgasmed because I thought it was so perfect. You said it so perfectly. Yeah. You said it not like a, a person who's conning anyone too. It was great. Yeah. I was like, this is very turnkey. turnkey. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm learning. Um, okay, so this next place is very in our budget. It's bigger than that last place. But, but it's going to require a little bit of work. But it's going to require a little bit of work. Yeah. But because it's under budget. We can we use that extra money to pay for the work. See? Okay, I'm just going to cut in here really quick for a second because my camera died while we were looking at houses. But this place, when we first walked in, I was not excited about it at all. Other than that the price was extremely low for the area. You're getting a three bedroom with 1,600 square feet as opposed to the normal like 1,200 that we had been looking at. It was an older building, but it was on the top floor. You only share one wall in the bathroom in the very, very back. It had a patio overlooking the pool. The thing about this place is it was super low priced, but we would have to do renovations, which at first I was kind of opposed to because I wanted something I could just like move into but then when I started thinking about how I could pick out all the things it kind of got my mind going like I could pick out the exact floors I want I could pick out the exact kitchen I want I could pick out the exact shower I want and then I kind of fell in love with it yeah, exactly. I'm still not sure if we 
want to do that, but it's been a couple days now and I keep coming back to it. So just putting it out there. Good vlog. So my camera card filled up earlier when we were looking at houses, so I didn't get to film all of the places that we looked at. So we're going to keep looking, but now we're pre-approved. We have a realtor. Things are good. Guess what tonight is? Oh What's tonight, honey? I shrank my hoodie night. Oh my god, what happened? I don't know, I shrank it. You shrank it? That's what happens to my clothes when Steve does my clothes too. How does it feel? It feels bad. Oh, Sorry, no, now you look really buff. Now you look yeah, really emo. Oh, oh, you, oh god. <laughs> yeah. My nightmare. It's date night! Date night! 2017! Let's go! There's not much 2017 left. Well, this is why we go to date night. Honey, hmm. do you like Vlogmas so far? Vlogmas has been great. Uh, the storyline is really picking up yeah. this this week. I yeah. can tell you a lot of romance. A lot of romance. Lot of romance. And then I heard that we're gonna get a tree. <laughs> That's what I heard. Is that what we're doing for date night? Uh, yeah. And we're also we're gonna eat food first because we're very we're, we're hungry. very hungry people. And then we're gonna get a tree, and then we're gonna get eggnog. I don't know about that one. Because <laughs> you said that we could get eggnog. I didn't say that. You promised that we could I, get I eggnog. I well. definitely didn't say that. You said we could definitely have a, didn't say But you that. said we're going to do Christmas. <laughs> we're right? going to get a Christmas tree, is so what I said. So doing Christmas means getting eggnog. I didn't say that. You're twisting my words. We're going to light an eggnog Christmas Christmas candle. It's like the same thing. But That's not the same thing. It's like the I same thing. Drink, drink it. <clears throat> drink dark dark. Oh, they have rum and oh, hey, oh, not sponsored. Cheers. Date night. Date night 2017. Let's go. Let's go. Vlog. One minute we were at date night eating sushi, and the next minute we ended up in Target. How did this happen? How did this happen? Look all the throws. Look at this shirt that I'm probably gonna buy. Consume, buy, consume, purchase, make purchases. Your life is nothing without material need, goods. My life is nothing without material goods. You need goods. material goods. I need material goods. You must buy something <gasps> for your family. Look at for this. Your mother. I just, we came in here to look at the fake Christmas trees and see if we want to purchase one and then I got overwhelmed by all this new stuff. Look at this alpaca with presents on it. Where's he going with all those presents? Look at these cute guys. This lights up, I guess, but... That's, that's dumb. That doesn't look good. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. Like, I like the height, but yeah. I don't like the girth. Yeah, they're all skinny. Like, it's just not very girthy. I like my trees to have a lot of girth. Right, baby? Yes, you do. Yeah. What do I always say? You said you'd rather have it girthy. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have it girthy than long. You know? Because, like, anything can be long, but can it have girth? Right, baby? Right, baby? That's what I always say. Like my ex-boyfriend's trees. I can't hear you. That's what you always say, baby. Yeah, that's what no, I always I say. Sorry, my stomach was hurt. You want some Tums? No. It's All in right. my heart area. I just really love the girthy trees. It just hits the spot, you know? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. You don't? No, I don't. I'm just saying don't settle. 